Hi everyone, this is Karthik from Cap and Simplified and in this video, let's discuss how to write your SOP for Colorado University. I know this is top of mind for most of you because the application process started as early as September 20 and would close in the next month. Interviews will try to start right after that on a rolling basis and typically CU calls people in three batches. But the CU interview process is in another video. In this one, let's focus on the SOP in case you still haven't sent your application in. Now, the CU SOP is pretty unique. It's probably the only other school, apart from one more, that asks a separate SOP apart from the one that's already on campus. The CU SOP is typically 3,500 characters, whereas the CAPIT SOP is 5,200 characters. This lower uh, character limit leaves some severe constraints on us as creative individuals to cut down on the amount of writing we've had and present a good SOP. I know there are some professionals out there, uh, like for example, uh, Zach, who charges about $3,050 to write your regular SOP and another $150 to reframe that for CU. Having said that, let's discuss how to make this 3,500 characters really impactful. The first thing you need to think about is um, CU can access both your SOPs, meaning they can access both the, the individual 3,500 character one you submit to them and the total 5,200 character you submit to Captain. So the story you narrate in both must be consistent. If they are not, it clearly shows a gap of trying to overperform and therefore that might stand against you in the application. With that in mind, where can you chop down the most of your content? And that's in the, in the first paragraph where you introduce yourself or introduce how you initially got inspired to come into the industry. It's in this paragraph that we find most candidates give a large story about their childhood, about some inspiration, about watching some other dentist. And I personally believe this is where you can uh, bring down at least uh, at least like 800 characters in total. Try to make your introduction into dentistry or your inspiration to entering dentistry extremely short because that has the least impact on your story overall. Nobody's going to be specifically inspired to give you admission because of how you got into dentistry in the first place. That's just a way to socialize or, or to set um, a comfort zone for the reader. Right. Now the next one that you can think about is now although we shorten our SOP from 5,200 characters to 3,500 you might feel that you're losing the opportunity to express yourself com uh, in a compelling way completely. Several key important points you might have to sacrifice and you might want to you might actually think that they might make an impression. Don't worry there are supplemental answers for CU, which only a few schools offer, that you can compensate for whatever bullet points you're not able to mention in your total SOP. The typical supplemental answers that CU asks are, uh, what are your strengths and weakness of your previous dental school? What has changed since your last application? Incremental change in case you're a repeat applicant. What uh, were the key strengths in your previous application? And by this application, they're asking about the physical application you submit to CAPIT, your interview process, and your bench test process. What the, what the strengths you identified in your previous application, and what have you done, uh, or what do you think you can improve upon? The last one is gaps in your dental education. And this, uh, it's actually rephrased pretty differently, but they're, what they're essentially asking about is gaps. Have you had a low GPA? Have you had a few gap years in your career? Have you had to manage some difficult life circumstances and so on? So think about this. If you go through your CAPIT SOP, assuming that's done, think about which bullet points or which key instances in your CAPIT SOP can be salvaged and instead answered in your supplementary answers. If you can move it to your supplementary answers, then that's where it should probably work and should cut down your SOP as a whole. This is very, very important and crucial because Strengths and weaknesses of your previous dental school is itself a paragraph that most of you would have written in your SOP. A general SOP, it, the way we've seen it is introduction to dentistry, followed by your BDS education or your uh, previous dental school, and then you go on to write about your transition to the US and so on. 
in this case the first two paragraphs are where you can cut almost all the content the first because it doesn't add significant value it's just narrative value and the second because that can be directly replaced by your supplemental answer having finished these two key ideas let's look at three more key ideas now since cu asks an sop exclusively for their school obviously they're looking out for references or hints that you connect with the school while a general capit application is common to every school cus needs to mention or sprinkle in some factors about why you are impressed to go to cu i'll give you a couple of ideas of what these factors could look like based on nora and my travel to colorado a year back um denver is among the top 4 cities in the US where people are largely migrating in 2020 and this trend might continue in 2021 so while the san francisco's and the uh, boston's and, and florida's are becoming full people are migrating into four other large cities among them denver is supposed to be in the top 4 the next idea is about the outdoor culture of colorado a lot of people This Rocky Mountain is in Colorado, and it's what features your beer brand. Those the logo on the back. Also, people in Colorado are extremely proud about the fact that they have mountain ranges, have trails in their proximity. If you are a person who likes outdoor culture, who likes to be in between the city and nature, probably you want to visit. Another key aspect about Colorado.
I'm going to read. 